Welcome, 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 come sit by the fire, come listen to a story like our ancestors did. Stories have been told since the very beginning. Stories are within us, like fire is within us. Stories and fire go very well together. So, we sit here by grandfather fire, and we feed fire with our stories. And the origin of fire has been told in many stories around the world, in many different cultures. And today, I'm going to tell a tale rabbit stole fire. This is one of many versions, there are many different versions. This one comes on what we now call America. In the beginning there was no fire on earth. The world was cold. The sky people had fire but they lived far up in the mountains and guarded the fire all to themselves so no one could have it. The animals didn't have it. The animals wanted fire. Who will steal the fire? asked the animals. When the winds began to blow cold and the leaves began to fall. The bison was strong, the wolf was cunning, the bear was brave, the wild cat was fierce. But Rabbit, Rabbit was a leader of all in mischief. Rabbit gathered some feathers from the woods and Rabbit made himself a beautiful headdress and he coated every stitch and every feather in pine resin. Here I go, said Rabbit, putting on his beautiful headdress. And off he went to the village of the sky people. And he started to sing a song. I'm going to fetch a fire, fetch a fire, fetch a fire. I'm going to fetch a fire, and off I am to go. Well that's what he was going to do. The sky people saw Rabbit coming from afar. Who is Rabbit? They muttered. Do not trust him. He is a trickster. He is a mischief maker. Do not listen to a word he has to say. Hello, sky people, said Rabbit. I've come to teach you a new dance. Look at my beautiful headdress. It's a dance to bring the corn from the fields. It's a dance to guide the fish into the nets. His words charmed the sky people and they were lured and enchanted and so for some strange reason they decided to let Rabbit into the village. Lead us into the dance Rabbit cried the sky people. They forgot all about Rabbit being a mischief maker. So Rabbit led the dance round and round the fire he danced. The sky people had a beautiful big fire in the middle of the village and round and round Rabbit danced around the fire and the sky people followed Rabbit around the fire. They were drumming and singing and hollering and dancing and Rabbit was bending low, skipping and dancing around the fire and as he danced he bent low to the fire and the sky people bent also and round and round they danced and lower and lower Rabbit bent to the fire and suddenly whoosh the dress was alight a race rabbit down the hill away from the village. S Sky people shouted, Rabbit, he has tricked us. He has stolen a fire. Chase the rabbit. So Rabbit raced out of the village. He raced down the hill. The headdress was burning and as he raced, the flames grew higher. But Sky people, they chased after the rabbit and they tried to catch him. They made great rains, they made snow, they made thunder and lightning, they made sleet, they made strong winds, but Rabbit was fast and Rabbit ran away from them. And still the headdress burned brightly, but soon Rabbit grew tired and he saw Squirrel. Squirrel, Squirrel, please take the headdress. And so he gave the headdress to Squirrel. Now in those days, Squirrels had long tails. And Squirrel put on the headdress and Squirrel ran off. But the headdress, the flames, made Squirrel's tail curl up, as are Squirrels to this day. So soon, Squirrel began to get tired. Squirrel found Crow. Crow, please take the headdress. Now in those days, crows were right. But the soot from the flames of the headdress made Crow turn black, as are Crows to this day. Crow soon grew tired too. Crow, crow found raccoon. 
Now in those days, raccoons were all one colour. And Crow gave Raccoon the headdress. And the headdress burned brightly on Raccoon's head. And Raccoon raced off. But the soot from the flames made Raccoon's, made rings on Raccoon's tail around her eyes. And as are Raccoon's to this day. Now Raccoon ran as fast as she could, but soon Raccoon grew tired and she met Turkey. Now in those days, turkeys are beautiful. They have these beautiful feathers around their head and down their necks. Raccoon said, Turkey, I'm so tired, please take the headdress. And Turkey took the headdress and Turkey ran. But soon the flames burnt all the feathers off Turkey's head and neck, as are turkeys to this day. Now turkeys aren't very good at running and soon Turkey got tired. Turkey found deer. Those days deer had long tails. tails. Deer said, Turkey, give me the fire. Light my tail. So Turkey lit deer's tail and deer ran off. Deer ran off into the woods and through the woods and as she ran, deer shouted to the trees, trees, take my fire. Hide the fire, trees, hide it. So the trees took the fire and trees hid the fire in their wood. And then, there was no fire. Sky people couldn't find the fire. So the sky people had to return back to their home high in the mountains. So all the animals gathered together. Fire had been hidden by the trees. But Rabbit, Rabbit knew, Rabbit knew how to coax the fire out of hiding. Rabbit knew, but by rubbing two sticks together, he could coax the fire out of hiding. And so the animals would have fire and would never be cold again. Welcome, welcome.